internet and welcome back. If you was watching the ZXR uh, Spackulators and coil packs last time, I did mention I was going to do this job. So this is it. It's going to be literally a quick five minute job. It's not going to be a how to, it's just going to be a, this is what I've done. So there you go. So the ZX9R's here, I'm going to drain the oil, change the filter, job's a good one. So there we go, got my trusty old bowl at the ready. Um, the nut for dropping the oil, let me turn you around, hold on. It's right under there, hopefully you can see that. And I think to memory it's a 17 mil, so we're going to get that undone. Drop the oil, uh, the filter is at the front. Uh, hopefully you're in the right position as well. It's at the front, in between the exhaust pipes. So that will come off, and um, new oil in. Obviously plug in first, some plug, new oil in, job done. Literally is that easy. So, I know you're at a bit of a weird angle, but there you go. It is a 17 mil. So, lefty loosey, rifty Literally just a quick, oops, a quick broken socket later. Come on, there we go. Right, so a quick, and do like that, as you can see. Didn't take much, there shouldn't be a lot of pressure on there. And now I'm going to get my bowl underneath, catch the oil, and undo it by hand, and get my hands completely filthy. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> it's hardly done a thing. Uh, the bike only does about 600 miles between drops. So uh, yeah, the oil doesn't get very dirty, but that's a good thing. Keeps the engine protected. And all's good to see. Not a single bit of metal on the plug. That's a magnet there, just in case you didn't know. So, there we go, one new filter. There you go, a nice high flow which I use all the time, never had a problem with them. Uh, the oil is just about finished now, um, so the next job is, here we go, get you in there, is to get the oil filter out. Now, they are a bit of a pain, you've got two ways of doing this. Um, you may have a tool that will fit over it, I haven't, they're quite small. So what I tend to use, let me bring you back out again, is one of these. Uh, it's just a band and it basically tightens up by screwing it in or out. So if I could show you on the new filter, basically it goes over there, you tighten it up and it just needs that little tweak just to get it started. Once you start it, you'll get it off by hand. So I'm going to do that now. Unfortunately I can't film it because I need all my hands. There you go, so as you can see you can just about get it in there and if you angle it slightly and trap it in there, it doesn't take much to crack it. So uh, let's get it off. So she's cracked. Let's see if I can get my hands in there and take it through this. There you go. The only annoyance of this is, <laughs> as you can see there, it all goes everywhere. It goes into your belly pan. And it makes a mess. Right. <sighs> Filter off. <laughs> Again, as you can see, well, you can't <laughs> without taking it to bits. Yeah, it's not hard. Not really have much use at all. Um, what I tend to do is I tend to try and get the plastic membrane off and just cover it like that. I can't do that with one hand, obviously. It'd be silly. Right, let's get the new filter on. Oh, listen to that. Nice. Now you'll notice on a lot of these newer filters, they are pre-lubed. So you don't need to spread oil on them anymore. Yeah, that good. And there you go, new filter in. Now as much as you can tighten these by hand, that's enough. You don't need to go hankering on them again. You don't need to tighten them any more than hand tight. Uh, and when I say hand tight, I mean as much force as you can put hand by hand. Um, they they do swell. Uh, all the, the gasket, the seal swells, and uh, it does seal them pretty good. Never had one leak, and always put them on hand tight. Never use the tool to tighten them up. So the sump plugs back in, a little bit of sealing compound around the bottom, just to make sure it doesn't leak. Uh, again, you only want about 15 to 20 newton meters on those, you don't want much. Um, oil, 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 <laughs> I digress. Um, so you don't want to give them too much, it is an alloy um, sump and it is a steel bolt. So you will strip the thread quite easily if you go stupid with it. Um, so yeah, don't go too mad. Just basically what I do, and I've shown you before, is when you're tidying them up, just get your, your hand there, get your, the palm of your hand on that, and just give it that. You can't put all that much pressure on, um, and you will get about 15 to 20. You get a feeling for it over the years. Uh, I used to work in assembly, so uh, yeah, I don't use torque wrenches a lot, and it always gets me into trouble. Anyway, I'm waffling. Right, let's get the, uh, the oil in through here, 
and uh, that's about done as I said it is literally a 10 minute job so this is what's going in uh, this is pretty much what I've always used 1040 it's four stroke motor oil uh, I believe it's fully synthetic but uh, I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me if it's not um, but it's certified carbon neutral okay um, usually get it in a four litre but I've uh, been sent four of these this time which is handy because it's got its own pairing sport pairing sport it's got its own pouring spout yeah that's what I meant to say glug glug juice go first litre in and the sunshine's come out <laughs> number two going in so that's two in just about the start of number three but remember you're on the side stand when you do this so your sight glass isn't going to be accurate so every now and again just obviously sit the bike up 90 degrees and make sure you're not overfilling it so that's three in so far just going to do a quick visual check so uh, bear with me i would say we'll probably be just about hitting the bottom of the glass now uh, it usually takes about three and a half, not quite four. Oh, oh, this is dodgy. Right, trying to hold the bike up, but as you can see, there you go, we're at the bottom of the glass. Well, I hope you can see it, because I'm struggling. <laughs> right, I've got my able assistant now. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It'll probably land on you now. So, yeah, pull the front brake on, right, and then tilt the bike towards me until you feel it a little bit more. There you go. There you go. Spot on. Look at that. Now there's obviously, I haven't started the bike up yet, so there's nothing in the oil filter. Well, there'll be a bit in the oil filter, but it hasn't circulated yet. So there you go. That's about where you want it. Thank you. Okay, can I put it down now? You can. That's about 480 kilograms you've just lifted. All oh, right, well, can I go and get on with my jobs now? Yeah. Thank you. Sun's out. Am I going to leave the dog with you? Yeah. You can stay with me, can't you, Ted? You'll keep your eye on him, though, because if that dog gets out, or their dog gets out, He's sitting with me, ain't you, boy? <laughs> Biker dog. <laughs> right, so I'll cut back on again. I'm off. Look at that, Ted. Right, make sure we're in neutral. We still are, yes. Right, let's start her up. Oh, we've been choked. Quick check for leaks. And switch her off again. There you go. Right. So that will be the oil now circulated around the engine. I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes just to settle and then we'll check the glass again and make sure everything's okay. Okay. Last visual check. Ted, come here making a bid for freedom <laughs> right last visual check here we go break on pull the bike up yeah, as you can see now it's on the bottom level so we just need a little bit of a top up and we'll be good and the last check break on bike towards me there you go just between the two marks, that's where I like to keep it. Excellent. Well, there you go. Let's let the bike back slowly. Back on its stand. And that is pretty much it. So there you go. It literally is a, a 10 minute job. If I wasn't filming it, it would probably be a lot quicker as well. Um, the, the key things are, um, obviously, it's a bit tricky getting into the filter, as you saw. So there's not much room in there, but you can get it. If you really want to butter it, you can get a screwdriver in and, and make a hole. And pull it around there is options um, and don't overfill it that's one of the key things to take away do not overfill it uh, as i say the oil came out pretty clean it doesn't do any miles uh, 600 miles a year on a good year um, so i didn't expect there to be any problems in there as you can see the magnet on the bone was absolutely perfect no metal in there and considering the bike is what 23 four years old it's doing well yeah doing very well but it's uh, it doesn't get used a lot and it doesn't get fresh when it gets taken out. It gets warmed up properly. And uh, yeah, it's well looked after. But um, yeah, the ride is getting a bit old now. <laughs> Putting on a bit of tinder. So yeah, maybe it's time to get rid of it. Who knows? Anyway, there you go. Whatever you're doing, enjoy. If you're riding, enjoy. 
do it safely and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye all.